Vended dropped their new self-titled album. Vended, welcome to the party, man. Yeah. This is fucking awesome. Um, I can't. It's not announced yet. We hypothetically may or may not have had a sh- discussion with Vended. Um, hypothetically. hypothetically, maybe, maybe not. If know. we did, I wasn't keep there. an eye on our channel. I, I wasn't there. <laughs> I don't know. That's, That's weird. I wonder who did it then. <laughs> <laughs> who the fuck? It was just, it was just a fucking empty <laughs> Zoom. <laughs> Um, so keep an eye on our socials um, if you would be hypothetically interested in that hypothetical interview Mm -hmm. Um, this album is incredible Um, I could definitely hear a lot of uh, different influences I in that hypothetical thing I don't think it was mentioned but I can hear a little bit of motionless influence I'm not sure if it was or not but I big fan of motionless big fan of ended Um, And also another thing, a lot of our little nitpicks, I guess, with their past singles, and I think they did a short EP or something. Yeah, that's like what they came out with. Exactly. So our our nitpicks and our small little issues where it's like, it sounds great and it's it's well made and it's well written, but the only issue is it sounds like Baby Slipknot, Mm -hmm. where it's just there isn't much individuality, there isn't much this is our own thing. Um, when they already kind of have that Slipknot thing looming over it because there are children of Slipknot. But with this EP, there's still a couple tracks, obviously some of the singles that do kind of still have that reminiscence of Slipknot or some corn influence. But I do believe with this record, they did actually step out of that shadow that unfortunately will be with them for a while because again they are directly connected to Slipknot so no matter what there will still be some people connecting it and comparing them but I do think with this album they step out of it they sound like themselves and that is already a fucking massive step for their debut they could have fully doubled down and just made a Slipknot album and just been like here fucking take it you know this will help us blow up but them actually doing their own thing and being themselves made this album incredible i fucking loved it yeah yeah that was that was going to be my main point as well because i was you know i i was the one that was like we're going to start covering this band and i was like god damn it it's just slipknot that has been my entire argument and problem with this band since the beginning i always thought the stuff was cool um but i was like i i can't i i I don't want to cover this anymore because it's just, I feel like I keep rehashing the same point and I feel bad because they're not just Slipknot. They are a different band. And I, and it's like, I don't want that to be um, the thing that I keep portraying about this band. Um, But finally getting a chance to, you know, tune back in, check out the album because I've been, been supporting them you know following them things of that nature since since the beginning and have always been curious what they've been up to want and want to see them live at some point especially now um but i was stoked when i heard this record and i was like it doesn't just sound like what i've been hearing from vended in the past as you said it is absolutely um it absolutely is them and and you know not you know and and what what they make when they come together um as Mm -hmm. a unit to to create a record i think they really flourish in in an album setting because they are allowed to to make their own sound whereas even even listening Mm -hmm. to some of the singles as singles i feel like i would have a different opinion than hearing it in the full body of work and getting to spend almost 40 minutes uninterrupted with the band um, mm-hmm. you know, they're, they're able to build it so that it's like, no, this is, this is us. Um, mm-hmm. you know, we, we did talk about influences in the interview and, and obviously they, they mentioned the hypothetical interview, the, the hypothetical interview. I'm sorry. Um, and they, the, the influences that were mentioned were in this hypothetical interview were all, um, you know, the, the bands that you would expect to be mentioned, um, yeah. you know, the, 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 the new metal, uh, bands mm-hmm. that were coming up in, in the nineties and, and early two thousands were the influences that were mentioned. And those absolutely come through. There's no, there's no hiding, uh, where, where the band's influence and roots are from. Um, mm-hmm. but it's, it's awesome to hear a band do a modern take on that early that that 90s and 2000s sound and do it so well um Mm -hmm. 
because I think that the vocals, Griffin's vocals, mm -hmm. bro, Ooh. holy yeah. shit! The yeah. like I haven't I haven't heard energy like this vocally on an album like this since mm -hmm. those early records from those yeah. bands coming up. Um, yes, which excites me so fucking much about this band and about this record. Um, I I could sit here and name every single song as a favorite mm -hmm. except obviously the interludes um because i think that <laughs> every <laughs> every single song fucking rips mm -hmm. um but mm -hmm. i'm i'm going to just name paint the skin um because i think it really it sets the tone Fuck off my song yeah. <laughs> it it sets the tone for the album and gives me all of the feelings that I just mentioned, and I'm sure Glory mentioned, you know, the, the same, the similar feelings for Glory, um, mm -hmm. where, you know, you're like, holy shit, this isn't just what I thought this band was. And also, yeah. holy shit, those vocals and the instrumentals and everything screams that high energy, holy mm -hmm. fuck, um, that I got listening to those albums for the first time, you know, the, 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 the first Slipknot record and the first Corn record, things like that. Um, so i am so into this album i love it it's right up my fucking alley and this is exactly the kind of feeling i've wanted to have about this band since day one it took a couple years but we're so fucking here we're so back yeah great fucking record i completely agree um paint the skin is also my favorite fuck off <laughs> um i claim it um i also really liked i believe it was a single but i did still enjoy it uh, nihilism mm -hmm. i think that was a single yeah, yeah. Um, but honestly, the entire record is fucking killer. I love it so much. And I'm happy that the band is doing something that we can now fully, um, agree with and appreciate now it's, I'm so fucking happy about this. Yeah. Hell yeah. 